2022 Grammy nominations were just announced with Olivia Rodrigo basically dominating this year's list and she celebrated her shiny new noms with an emotional response reflecting on her journey over the past year. Let's get into it. The second Olivia Rodrigo dropped her debut single, Driver's License, back in January of this year, there was not a doubt in fans' minds that she was destined for stardom. The song immediately snowballed into a year full of number one singles, and not to mention Olivia's debut studio album, Sour, opened at number one on the Billboard 200 charts. So when the 2022 Grammy nominations were announced on Tuesday, there was truly no doubt in fans' minds whether Olivia deserved to top the list of the most Grammy noms this year with seven, including all of the four biggest categories. Liv was nominated for Album of the Year, Record of the Year, Song of the Year, and Best New Artist, not to mention three other categories including Best Pop Vocals Album, Best Pop Solo Performance, and Best Music Video. While she wasn't the artist who scored the most nominations this year, trailing behind composer John Batiste with 11 noms, as well as her, Doja Cat, and Justin Bieber, Olivia was, however, the only artist to score nominations in all four of the big categories. This is definitely something to be celebrated as she took to Instagram to share an emotional response to the love and musical praise she received throughout the year. With the photo of a cake appropriately labeled, you did it bitch, and the number seven, Olivia reflected on her year and just how far she's come, writing, quote, when I was younger, my family lived a few blocks from the Staples Center where the Grammys took place every year. I would always walk outside the arena and look at the plaques on the ground with all the winners' names in wide-eyed wonder. She recalled making multiple trips to the Grammy Museum during her free weekends after being so fascinated by the history of the show and all of the incredible musicians that made it up. Olivia then added, Many dreams have come true for me this year, but this one is probably the most meaningful. Thank Thank you to everyone who has believed in me and supported the songs I write, and thank you to the Recording Academy for the recognition. I'm beyond humbled, truly a day I will never forget. Liv is also the second youngest artist to be nominated in all big four categories, following in Billie Eilish's footsteps from her 2020 Grammy sweep with the same nominations in every big four categories two years back. Both Olivia and Billy have also tied in the amount of nominations this year with seven, as Billy also excitedly reacted to the news on Instagram, writing, This is unreal, literally insane, such amazing news to wake up to, I could scream. Thank you, Recording Academy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, seven. Billy ended up winning five Grammys in 2020, including a sweep of the entire big four and two more during the 2021 Grammys earlier this year, winning record of the year for a second year in a row and is nominated once again this time around. The 2022 Grammy Awards will take place in Los Angeles on Monday, January 31st, and will broadcast live on CBS, so be sure to mark your calendars for the biggest musical event of the year. For all the details on Selena Gomez's first ever Grammy nomination, click right over here, then hop to the comments and let me know all your thoughts on this year's list of nominations. As always, I'm your host, Renee Uriel. You can follow me on socials, at Renee Uriel, and I'll see you next time.